Welcome to the block. I was like, no way. Yo, I be telling niggas about that hill, Welcome baby. Welcome to the show, everybody. You're on the block with Soho Palacios. Uh, today, I have two very special guests with me. Gato and Jen. Welcome to the show, guys. Yay. It's a real pleasure to have you guys here today. Thank you for they came all the way from Queens to uh, come to the block and I get shot and be part of the show. <laughs> all right, so today we're doing something very special. Uh, my uh, cousin Kamahans came through and whipped up some uh, special cake. And we're gonna eat some and see how we progressively get high throughout the show. Alright, come. Oh, you say it's a little bit. Alright. So, Kyle, you're originally from San Antonio, Texas. Yeah. Um, so, and you're staying in um, Brooklyn, New York at the mm -hmm. moment. And Jen, you're, in, you're originally from Queens. Yeah, that's correct. Born in Brea. Alright, cool. So, I'm from the Bronx. But I'm not from here, I'm from Central America, but I've been here since 1998, so I'm as New Yorker as anybody else. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, so you just made a year here in New York a couple months ago, right? Yeah, it was actually this month. That I oh, it was this yeah, month? Yeah. See, I told you. Okay, cool, that's yeah. what's up, dude. And, um, all right, so you've been in New York for a year, so tell us about that experience, that transition from going from a town in Texas, a small town in Texas? Well, I mean, like, San Antonio's big, but... Okay. It wasn't like this. It wasn't. All right, yeah. a, how was it moving to a fast-paced city from that background? It was intimidating. It definitely. Was intimidating. Yeah, definitely. Like loud noises and and honking all the time and sirens. And, I'm not and what's great about it is, you come from a different, from another state to a different city with a different fast-paced environment, and you jump into a bike into traffic. Yeah. Weird. So it's like you you adapted like as more as dangerously possible as you could, and you do a pretty good job at it. Yeah. So the best of us have. I've had my yeah. fiestas too. Jen, tell us a little bit more about your New York City cycling experiences and how you got into fixed gear cycling. Um, fixed gear. I used to chill around Union on my board a lot. Right. Um, I used to see you longboard before. Right. And I right. used to see y'all posted up looking mad cool. And I was like, yo, who are these people? Why don't I know them? And whatever. But I kept skating. And then one time, uh, in May of 2014, I tore a ligament while skating. And I was like, fuck. Like, I need a job. Mm -hmm. um, I need to make money. But I want to do it skating involved. And something that involves being outside and not nobody bothering me. Okay, cool. And so I go on Craigslist uh, with my fucked up me needing a job nobody introduced me into the the job i just kind of was pushed into it by i guess the universe so okay but i used to see y'all 14th street a lot and uh -huh. i was i saw you too and i was like who is that guy and everyone looks so so free and and, and so unique and beautiful and i was like well, i get to know these people but i had like a coaster break bike that i named tiger lily and okay I, <laughs> yeah so that's how I that was your first oh. i was introduced into fixed hair by my homie uh john john is today so, uh, and then from there on, he told me how to ride bikes, and then I got my own bike, and I've been riding uh, fixed gear ever since. All right, we'll be right back after this message. Come back to the show, everybody. And we're back to our guests, Caro and Genesis. So, Caro, you, you stand out. You're a person that stands out in the bike community. People know you. You know, even if you meant to or not to, you definitely stand out. And uh, you made a name for yourself. Also, um, you've thrown uh, 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 races before. You threw Malabruja race on uh, October last year, Halloween, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the day before right. Halloween. No, it was Halloween. Yeah, it, it was, was the day before yeah. Halloween, right? So uh, you got it was a females only race. Yeah, all women's alley all cat. women's. I'm sorry, any all bike. women's uh, all women's any bike alley cat race, and it had a great turnout. Yeah, it, was it like did. Seventy didn't it? plus women. That's that's really dope, and it's it's great, it's great when people can get together and do <laughs> stuff like that. Um, you know, especially in yeah. these times where people need support. Definitely you know? didn't think that many women would show, you know? Yes, you know, especially in a, in a, in a, in a cycle community where people uh, people think that uh, there aren't that many women who are uh, um, into cycling. Not many women come out, gear. they never come out to race. So That's to true. see that many women come out to one of my races, well, you know, me and the person that, you know, Kenya helped throw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To see that turnout was amazing. Are you still doing my Are you still throwing any events? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to get something together maybe mm -hmm. in the summertime, but I can't put anything in stone. Okay. But definitely doing the uh, Hell Night again. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the Hell Night race again this year. Okay, that's I'm gonna cool. try to make it like an annual thing. All right, cool. Well, if anything, we uh, we definitely will keep you guys posted on that information, and as it comes in, we'll let you guys know. Hell yeah. All right, cool. So Genesis. 
Every time I see you, you always tap in on these pads with drumsticks. What's that about? You're in a band? Or mm -hmm. is your passion for, uh, do you have a passion for drumming? I started teaching myself in January. Um, I always been interested in the drums, but I grew up uh, not having the, the, the source, like the resources, the money, you know, like to get myself. I never thought to think, yo, just get drumsticks and fucking bang everywhere. Mm -hmm. So now I'm like, yo, I wanna, I wanna do that. I'm trying to do everything I can before, you know, some shit happens and I'm not here anymore. So I'm wanting a little bit of drumming in my like in my jack of all trades bag. The day to day. Yeah, words. So I carry that with me around, and it's a form of expression, uh, a way to release stresses that go on it's during work. It's therapeutic. therapeutic. Yeah, it's exactly. It's Everybody a, needs that. Like it's that little busa. Exactly. Yeah, it's, little it's true. Busa. Yeah. Busa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah, that's like uh, cycling. That's what cycling is for me. Mm -hmm. For me, it's a very therapeutic. You know, throw on some headphones. Right. Since so, you know, put a little Taylor Swift and I can speak down at that time. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm 22. What's that bass on? <laughs> Alright, guys, stay tuned for more from our guests after this message. That was a bomb <laughs> There we go. That was really good. <laughs> this is really good, too. Sweet. Anything that I can consume is good. <laughs> for sure. Alright, Kyla, so. Vessel. You're sponsored by Vessel. Which is really dope because I remember when um, Vessel started coming around in the city. Uh, I remember Hop had the bag first. I wanted to buy it off him. He tried to sell me four hundred dollars. Try to job, uh, <laughs> beat me in the head. And uh, Nick, Nick, uh, the the founder of Vessel, came to the city and I actually got my bag off. Uh, I purchased my bag from him, and I loved it ever since. I still have it. I customized it myself. It's deep. I moved out with that bag, so it's very very helpful. So how do you come about getting a sponsorship by Vessel? Um, so me and Louis, a homie, we swap bags so I can test out Vessel because mm -hmm. it's a really giant bag and uh -huh. my job requires carrying, you know, little boxes of flowers. I call it the human bubble saw. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the Roadrunner, you know, I had the Americano and it was a great bag, but it was a lot more bungee, you know, and mm -hmm. stuff. So we swap bags, I test out the Vessel and, you know, I social media it out, I post yeah, on my Instagram. Course, Hashtag whatever. Um, yeah, so Nick reached out. He uh, emailed me, and he was just basically saying like you put in you put in hard work. Um, I kind of want to ask if you want to be sponsored by Vessel. We can send you some gear. Um, it took me a few days to respond because I was really unsure what I wanted. I've never mm -hmm. had someone come to me and want to sponsor. Yeah, that was pretty exciting. Yeah, time, it's though. first time, you know. So I, I agreed. I was like, yeah, that sounds fine. Like, I'm excited to put in my ideas, maybe help you with the bag here and there, you know. Constructive criticism is never a bad thing. Um, so, yeah, like, uh, I, you know, I got, a, I got a bag, I got a hip pouch, got a bunch of gear, and it all comes in handy because what I do carrying the flower boxes and all, the vessel can... I packed 13 boxes. Oh, yeah, dude, I've seen it. 13 boxes, like that, I'm riding my bike and it's like towering over me. Insane, man. And with any other bag, I don't think that's possible. I'm sorry, but I have no, nothing against any other bag company, but Vessel. Again, congratulations on the sponsorship, and I'm going to wish you the best of luck. Thanks. All right, so Genesis, I, I've known you for a really long time again, and um, I, I have you as a friend on social media. Right. So um, the question I'm about to ask you is really hard for me to phrase because not every day I ask a question like this. Right. So I see that sometimes you have uh, uh, troubles like, like with your gender role, identifying yourself. Right. So would you care to go into more detail and explain that to people who might not understand? Uh... It's funny because I barely understand it myself, but mm -hmm. I'm in the process of, of getting a more, a better grasp on what gender identity is and, and sexuality and like pronouns. Um, so people need to understand that it goes far beyond than just sexual, your, your reproduction system basically. Right. It's, 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 I, it's a mental thing too. It, it, it feels quite interesting being the being that I am. Uh, I tend to confuse people often on my bike. They don't know whether I'm a girl, a guy. Uh, what is that? That's all I hear all day. Like, yeah. what is that? Is that a girl? Is that a guy? And it, it frustrates me because. Yeah. It, yeah. It's, it makes you feel less than human, more like. Yeah, an and, I, and I'm trying to remind myself I am not this. Whatever people see on the outside is not who I am. Because we all have 
the inner things that we are. We all have our own. We, we talk to ourselves more than anyone talks to us. In yeah. the daytime, I talk to myself so fucking much. <laughs> I don't hear from the so you know, and it, it it gets frustrating because I'm born in, in this female body, mm -hmm. but mentally I feel like a, a male. I can think the way men think, which is it's interesting and it's a it's a battle. It and is then interesting. That's why I, I had to myself, ask you a question. And I'm you know, really like I have this female body, but mentally I think different, and then this and that. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm chilling. Um, <laughs> <laughs> great, great, great. I, all right, great. So that was, I really appreciate your answer and Word. thank you for understanding where I was coming from oh, with that question. No doubt. Thanks all right, so asking. we're coming to the ending of the show and now uh, we're going to take a one more minute break and uh, we'll be right back after these messages. So I want to ask you guys a final question before we uh, exit out. Um, I feel like everybody has a moral code that they live by. Mine says, for example, uh, you know, I trust you to give me a reason not to. I feel like everybody should have that opportunity because a lot of people in New York City tend to just judge or be, you know, be negative. So they don't really like to interact with nobody. And I don't think things should really be that way. So, um, yeah. So what, is it, what, is it, what are your thoughts on that? What, are your, what is your moral code? Um, I'm going to say mine's going to be don't talk about it, be about it. Okay. So, you know, my, my actions are going to speak louder than my words do. I'm not going to go to someone and say, oh, I do this, or I carry this, or I know this. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to demonstrate it. I go to Alley Cat to demonstrate my, like, knowledge on the city. I work hard. I carry shit. I just yeah, really get you to show people your strengths instead of talking about it. Yeah, now. I do my boo-boo, and you do your boo-boo, and I know you for your boo-boo. <laughs> you know so, what about you? Uh, it's, it's simple. Just... Love everyone. Love yourself. Uh, everyone has battles. Mm -hmm. We don't know. Everyone in the second community has their own shit that they go through at home. It's good to have to lend each other a hand and have that compassion. The world yeah. needs that, man. Especially yeah, the way especially things are going now. It's a lot a of small hate community. flowing around. There's a bigger world going on around us. Right, exactly. Folk, like, if we're going to expand, we've got to help each other. Well, thank you guys for uh, being here on the show, and I really appreciate right. it. And uh, maybe we'll see you guys again down the line. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, that's our show. Thanks for viewing. Uh, don't forget to like and comment. Tell, you what, tell us, let us know what you think about the show. And also like, comment, follow, subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe. Very important, subscribe. All right, so what y'all doing in here, ma'am? We cooking. You are? I've never seen anybody fry bananas. No? <laughs> nope. Y'all Texas niggas be slacking, that's why. <laughs> Word. Let me know What? <laughs> that's tight. <laughs> that's tight. Word, man. It's Dominican stuff, man. Ain't no real little culture in you. I'm about to get put on. Put me on. Sign me up. You look good. That's perfect. It is. Thanks for getting down in the kitchen. Oh, look at them eggs fart. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. This is so good. You never have rapping on my noodle? This is so cool. We're gonna pop your cherry. Yeah. Popping this cherry, son. <laughs> Can't wait. This is so good. Oh, yeah. Also, schmacks. Everything looks good.